Hey, what's up traders? It's Tyler here. And today I'm gonna to be diving into the other platform that we use here at Macrops for analysis, and that's called Icon. And Icon is made by a company called Refintive, formerly known as Reuters. And what I'm gonna do is show you the quirks and features of that platform, compare it to Bloomberg, and show you exactly how we use it to conduct our research and analysis here at Macrops. But before I do that, guys, I wanna tell you about something really awesome that Chris D, the head systems trader at Macrops, is releasing this week and that is his quantitative earnings system. And all you gotta do to figure out how to access that is click the link in the description and you'll go to a page that looks like this. It's gonna show you all about what happens with this particular system. So if you sign up for it, you get the quant scanner, a watch list generated by the system, the high probability setups, the earnings reports, and if you follow all this correctly, hopefully you can become consistently profitable. And all with the aid of Chris D. You know, he spent a lot of time making this system, perfecting it, and using it. And if you guys want in, just click that link in the description to sign up. All right, guys, so let's get into the video. Now, Icon is a lot less expensive than Bloomberg. So Bloomberg will run you around $2,100, $2,200 a month. Whereas Icon, it's gonna be right around 900 to thousand dollars a month. And there's different levels of that you can buy of it. You can get a little more expensive, a little bit more basic, but that's the average price. And that's the, the subscription that we have is around the 900 to thousand dollar a month mark. So it is about half as cheap as Bloomy. And now let me go into the login process. One thing is you don't have that fancy B unit that I showed you guys in that last video. It's just a simple web app login, which is kind of nice. It's very easy to access and you can access it from anywhere. So I'm gonna access it right now and sign in. All right, and now that I'm in, you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, definitely a lot different than Bloomberg. You have a more updated look to it that Bloomberg has that really old gold text back from the 80s that they're kind of still hanging around with. Whereas this definitely looks a lot more updated. And if I go over here, you can kind of see how similar it is to Bloomberg in some regards. Like if I click on index futures, this is gonna pull up a screen that has you know all of the the americas the europe and asian equity future indices you know with all the data the volume these are all futures contracts so you see the futures volume open interest year-to-date percentage returns so very kind of similar to that bloomberg monitor and you know i can just go through a couple of more of these for you guys if we go back to the home page um, volatility indices that's another cool watch list to, to look at and you can see here you know we have the VIX the three-month vol index and actually a bunch of the other volatility indexes from around the world which is very interesting and handy to look at in case you want to just get an overall view of volatility and apart from this main page here on the icon platform you know that's just to mainly look at quotes but you can go over here to the apps section they have instead of functions like in bloomberg they have apps and you can kind of dive down in these apps and look at different things so let's look at a couple for example you know i can go to analytics and calc and we can look into this macro explorer app and what this is going to do is it's going to pull up a map and we can click on different areas of the world and it's going to give us some information economic information about what's going on in that part of the world so a little bit easier to kind of dive into a specific part of the world and find what you're looking for and let me go through a couple other ones that i tend to like on here uh let's see we have in news and research you can go to things like the davos tab and that's going to tell you all about the you know the davos annual meeting that they have and it's news related to that stuff like that so you can kind of stay up to date on what's going on there and then another app i like is the earnings season app and that shows you you know how many companies have reported so far in this particular earnings season and if they're coming in above expectations or below expectations and that's really cool to see how the whole thing plays out in real time and so this is a nifty app that i know alex looks at from time to time if it could ever load you guys can see that some of these platforms have a trouble loading a little bit quicker. All right, so we're finally loaded now and you guys can see they break it out into economic sectors and then percent reported for this earnings season. And you guys can see that, you know, we're just starting in this particular earnings season, so not many have reported. Now this little tab is cool because you can see, you know, what percent beat, met, and missed in each little area. And then you get more information on that over here. So that's an overview of kind of what the Icon apps look like. And I actually wanna show you one interesting one. They do have quirky and fun ones like, uh, Bloomberg does. And if I go to app The Last Jedi, not really sure why they have this app in here. I mean, it's a little strange for a, you know, a financial terminal app, but I guess they're kind of nerdy over there and they love to go nutty on Star Wars. So that's what we get. And you can see that they have just all these analytics on all the Star Wars movies. Uh, so you can look at 
you know, over time, how much of how much revenue each of these movies have earned, worldwide lifetime gross, you know, and they go all the way from episode one up to episode seven. So what's interesting is actually it looks like episode one has been one of the best ones following seven right here. So I think that's uh, pretty cool to see. And then we have a bunch of other analytics for that. So, you know, nothing, you know, that we would ever use for trading, but it's kind of interesting. I don't really know if it's worth actually paying for data like this unless you're a crazy Star Wars fan, but nevertheless, here it is. And then they also have a characters tab that I found pretty cool. Let's see if it loads here. All right, so here's the page I was looking for, and they have this huge character analysis breakdown by appearance, by species, by allegiance. And, you know, it's not really pre prevalent to trading and investing. I think they're just kind of showing off their data capabilities and their data charting and their data presentation. So whatever, it's like another cool little thing that these platforms sometimes have. And finally, I'm gonna show you guys their charting, which is a lot different than Bloomberg. And they actually just updated their charting for the icon side of this platform. Right now we're looking at the icon side. There's two sides, icon and data stream. But what you'll see here for a sec in a second is that the icon side charting looks very, very similar to another website out there. And once it loads, boom, here we have it. And if you see, you know, this the way that this looks with the x-axis and y-axis, if it's familiar and you're thinking about trading view, then you're right, because look it up here on the right-hand corner, it says powered by trading view. So essentially what Icon's done is they've outsourced their chart development now to trading view. And we all know how cheap trading view is. I mean, most of us can use it for free, or you can pay up a little bit like 10 bucks or 20 bucks a month for some more data. And so it seems a little cheap by Icon to just be using that platform. And it's kind of goes to show you how, you know, their engineers and their their charting, at least on the icon side, has kind of gone out of date. And now we have other competitors like TradingView coming in and delivering, you know, powering their own charts and also delivering a, a, their same service for much less money. So interesting and, you know, something to kind of look at. So if you were to add up all the hours that we spend in this platform, it's actually not on the icon side at all. What we use is a product called DataStream. And DataStream is merged with this icon subscription. And when we were signing up, we really wanted data stream. That's what we were looking for. But they basically forced us to also buy Icon with it, which isn't the best because, you know, we don't really like Icon that much. And you can just use TradingView in place of that. But let me guys, let me show you guys data stream and you're going to see all the awesome charts that Alex uses for his macro analysis. All right. So now I'm in data stream chart studio and this thing is super powerful. This is exactly what we like to use for analysis over here at MacroOps. And this is where the platform truly shines and it's truly worth the money. So if we go over here to key indicators, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff. This is really cool. So you can sort by country and they have all the countries on here. I mean, it's just crazy. You got Bulgaria, Cyprus, Ecuador, Egypt, you know, all these esoteric countries, India, Iran. So like we can select Iran, for example, and what it should do is pull in a list of key indicators for Iran. So we have GDP, we have CPI, we have unemployment, we have all of these key indicators. And what you can do is once you find one, like let's say, you know, we want to look at the employment total and we want to go over here or let's look at the employment rate. That's usually a better choice. So view new chart. We click that and it's going to come up and print a very nice looking chart for us of the unemployment rate here. And I just had to change it really quick up here to time series so you guys could see it. But there it is a nice plot of the Iran unemployment. And you have this little code here that lets you know exactly what's going on. Now let's go back over to key indicators and I'm going to show you the United States ones just because those are a lot more filled in here on the platform. So you can see there's just tons of indicators on United States. And for example, we can go to any of these. Let's look at the treasury bill rate three month view new chart. Boom, it's going to pull it up for us in this chart section. And we should have a pretty cool looking chart of the treasury bill rate. And then you can go up here and you can apply, you know, a type of format that you've saved to this particular chart. And so when Alex is going through here and designing them, you have all these customizations you can do. And the ch I think the charts look really nice. So that's an awesome thing about the uh, data stream in here. Now, if we go over to library, library has even more charts for us to access. And what we can do in library is we can look at this menu over here once it loads. And you can see this is where data stream has some of their new features and sample charts. So you know, let's look at a few sample charts and see what they have up here. The commodities, we can go to gold and traded gold. So they have an example of a traded gold chart. Let's see what comes up and boom, traded gold. So that's really pretty cool. They have uh, moving averages already in here. And that, as you can see, the charts just look really nice. I still think these are some of the nicest looking macro charts in any platform out there. Now, if I go back to library and let's see some chart functionality examples, let's go to, let's see what a good one is. Let's go to chart types. 
area charts, and let's look at this one. This is phosphates, so some random thing about phosphates. Let's see what it pulls up for us here. And there we go. We could see the phosphate story, influence of China on price in Morocco. So you just get all of this very interesting data, and you could spend weeks and weeks and weeks combing this library. So DataStream is one of the largest economic and macro data libraries in the entire world, which is why this thing is really where the platform shines. Now, also back in library, you're going to see something over here on the left, which is our macro ops chart book. So over time, you build all these charts out, you add the data in, and you're going to see over here if we go to shared macro ops chart book. And here's where Alex has created a lot of his own charts and slowly save them over time. So for instance, in U.S. General Economic, let's click on labor market. And here is a bunch of charts that Alex has made in the labor market. And so you can see over time how this becomes a custom chart book. So once you have everything you like to look at and you have it all saved, then boom, you can just pull all these charts up. You can go bam, 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 look at all of them. And then that's how you can make your analysis and publish reports and also make trading ideas off the macro analysis. So that's a very cool thing about data stream. Now, another thing is this chart book function, which has a bunch of other charts made from different people that submit it into data stream. And so one of these guys is uh, Fathom Consulting. And for example, Fathom Consulting has a bunch of proprietary indices. Let's look at the economic sentiment indicator, one I like. And it kind of tells you about it. And then look, it, they graph out these interesting graphs for you. And you can see the sentiment in these various countries. They also have interesting stuff like the liquidity indicator. They have a vulnerability indicator. They have macroeconomic policy indicator. Let's see what this one looks like. And you, know, you can see that all of these have very interesting data in here that you really can't get anywhere else. And then if you scroll down here on this menu, you basically have access to all sorts of other charts. So you can look at, for example, let's see if, if you wanted to know about Australian real estate. Boom, you click that and you have a nice synopsis of what's going on in Australia with real estate. You have the indices, you have house price to income and rent. So this is really the best place to get an in-depth view of what's going on around the world. And they even have really cool things over down here like President Trump meets European leaders. And that's a theme. They talk about the theme here. And then they're graphing trade relationships between the U.S., European Union and also other countries down here. So again, just really interesting stuff. And let's see what they have in this hot topics tab. They have long-term outlook for MenApp. And so that they, they go through and you could just see all this other stuff that you're not gonna be able to get on another platform. And then finally, they have news and charts. So this is what they do is they take the most recent news coming out about the most recent data releases and then they chart them for you. And I love this because instead of reading the news, I can just go through here and say, hey, what's happening real quick? I can quickly look at all the data and all the indicators and know and so, for example, this just updated. You can see on October 18th, 2019, they had an update in the data for Japan CPI. And so I can click on this and then I can easily see what Japan CPI has been doing. I get the, the latest release right here. I get a little summary right there. And then you just get a nice general overview of what's going on from a macroeconomic perspective. All right, guys, so that's it about the icon tutorial. And really my review on it is the data stream is awesome. If you wanna dive into esoteric macro data and get stuff that you literally can't get anywhere else, at least from my knowledge, no other platform around, except for Bloomberg, if you do some digging in there and you pay up for that Bloomberg subscription, you can't, you can't get it. So if you want that weird macro data and you want, you know, to know about unemployment in Iran or stuff like that, then this data stream platform is awesome. And they also create great charts, nice looking charts. The icon side of it, the side I showed you first that kind of ripped off the trading view charts, you know, it's really not worth the money. I think a lot of that data you can get on investing.com or other websites for free. And obviously the charting, you know, we'd rather use trading view than within the icon app here. So I don't think the icon side really makes much sense. I know we don't really use it that much, but data stream is well worth the price. If they were able to break these things out, we could just subscribe to data stream and data stream chart studio, then that would definitely be our pick. All right, guys. So I hope you like this video. And remember, if you're interested in learning about Chris's quantitative equity earnings system, that link's in the description, hit that. You're going to go to that page. It's going to tell you all about what he has going on there. It's a really cool system. If you just want something to kind of jumpstart your trading into this latest earnings season. So definitely check that out. And thanks for watching the video. If you guys liked it, hit that like button, hit that sub button, leave me a comment below and help me decide what video you want to see next. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.